after that happened on the Saturday, I went to fold, of course, because where else am I going to be in this flipping London, in, in this um city devoid of actual decent nightclubs, the one decent one we have, I'm going to spend a lot of time there. And I'm probably thinking after going this recent time that I maybe spent too much time, there. I need to give it a bit of a rest or give it a bit of a break and start maybe exploring some other places. But, you know, the other places aren't that great. That's the problem with it. And it's just so good in there. But, you know, some reasons I'm going to pull up later on about why I want to make a bit of a change. But anyway, so I ended up going to fold. Um, I ended up going to the night, which they do for residents called Resistance or Resistance however you say it or whatever maybe i went to the second one i missed the first one unfortunately i like to always go to like the first of these type of events because it's nice to kind of see what the vibe is um and just kind of be there when it kind of happens the first time it's quite nice to kind of know hey i was there when it you know when they put their first party on similar to when folder opened and they had their very very first party i was one of the people there sweating my ass off absolutely going crazy talking to everybody about the place you know um eulogizing about it as i have done on this channel and just kind of you know spreading the gospel of fold after i went to that first party because i was so proud that i went to the first one and it was so fucking amazing too so resistance number two resistance number two was really really good i've got to be honest and this is coming from somebody who i think no this is coming from somebody like myself um who kind of i think i spent way too much time there over the last few weeks and i've kind of gotten a little bit bored of it and I think the reason why I got bored of it was because the nights I went to weren't that great. I'm not going to name the nights, but the nights I went to, I don't think were all that amazing. And the reason behind it for the most part is that, you know, I, I'm sure if when you start, when you start a club, you, you obviously start with good intentions. You want to probably get your mates involved. You want to book some people that you like and stuff. But I'm imagining when you do get to the actual bare, you know, the bare brass knuckles of a fucking club and absolutely running it day to day. There are a lot of things that you kind of maybe have to compromise on. And I feel like maybe in the last few months and stuff, we've seen a little bit of that with Fold in terms of their bookings and people who they're playing, people who's playing there, nights they're putting on and stuff, things that they're trying to give a go and try or blah, 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 blah. That clearly you have to kind of make sure you keep the lights on so you can't just, you know, afford to just have your mates on and these underground people. You need people who are actually going to be able to sell tickets, um, get people through the door, get people spending at the bar, bloody, blah, blah, blah. So, um, nights like um resistance i don't take for granted because for the most part you know they have to kind of keep the lights on so they kind of book you know some nights that aren't the greatest with some people that i probably shouldn't be going out of my way to see them play because they usually play the same old tire sets they're playing all over europe whenever they're touring which again i don't blame them because i think being a professional dj sometimes you maybe do lose a bit of the love for playing and for discovering new records because you're just always on a grind you know i mean it's always up an airplane an airport a hotel a nightclub you don't really look not really getting to explore the city or hang out with people you're just going in and out in and out in and out of nightclubs and airports and whatever it may be right um all day long so clearly when you get to the club the last thing you're thinking about is taking people on a musical journey or like you know showing them some new tune you just want to play a half decent set make sure they're dancing and keep it moving let your check and bounce or so, so you can basically file your invoice after so um Nights like Resistance, I don't take for, for granted because the whole premise behind it is that they had this night to showcase their residence. Because usually the residence night was on kind of the unofficial resident night was like unfold but i guess now unfold has turned into like a friends and family type thing and also an, an an occasion for them to also kind of um randomly have a really high caliber dj come in and play who can't exactly announce you know that they're playing because they have a non-compete clause in their contract or stuff a good example i think was last weekend on sunday just past i saw that marcel deepman actually played i think marcel deepman if i'm not mistaken played at fold recently and unfold so that's clearly a, a book they probably wouldn't have been able to do if they weren't able to open on Sundays and because I'm full they don't publish the lineups beforehand it's a good way to get people like that on board and obviously you know imagine you know if you're some local person underground person playing you've just started out new and you're playing alongside flipping someone like Marcel Deep you know you get to see him play live and direct I mean it's pretty sick so for a person like me a pilot like me who's a bit you know I'd say a little bit on the snobby side when it comes to nights out I do like to see people that I would say I'm trying to maybe get to a level of or kind of supersede in terms of like the level of DJing. So it's quite nice to see resident people playing. And obviously it gives someone like myself who actually wants to DJ to an opportunity to see what kind of, what the level is to play at that kind of club. Do you know what I mean? For somebody who is kind of a resident, who's kind of coming up in the industry and whatnot. Because a lot of those guys on the lineup are obviously legit and they've been playing for a long time, but they're not like big, big, you know, ticket names and stuff. So it's great to see that kind of thing. And I think in general also, because of the people that are playing there, they're mostly residents and most people who aren't that well known, 
a lot of people that come to see them are usually friends so the vibe is really electric that's what something i noticed straight away the vibe was so much better than the last few times i've been at fold it was really good vibe like you could see a lot of friends and family had come out to come see their you know whatever um, their friends play behind the decks and stuff um, a lot of support was happening there people actually on the dance floor you know going crazy even though people like to sit in the green room a lot a lot of the friends and family I, still, I did see a lot of the friends actually on the dance floor giving their support hooting and hollering whistling and shit so that was absolutely amazing and just in general I just want to you know sing its praises at night because I think I'm sure over time, maybe we won't see these nights as often because I'm sure there'll come a point where you just have to keep the lights on and you can't be putting on these events every single month because they're costing you money, blah, 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 because you want to make sure people coming in, buy tickets, buy beers, you know, the usual promoter stuff or the usual, you know, club owning stuff, I'm assuming with rent and water bill costs and security guard. I can, I can just imagine how much it must cost around that space on a, on a week, everyday basis, isn't it? But I really do hope that they do continue doing these nights because I honestly do think these nights are a far better advertisement for what Fold's about than anything else they do. Than all the other nights they put on, you know, if they invite flipping Richie Horton in there, Ricardo Villa, it doesn't matter. I still think Nights Like Resistance and the stuff they do at Unfold is a way better, um, is a way better, um, what would you call it? Is a way better not see if you're a business but it's a way better kind of impression of what you might think folds about in the vibe and the people that go there i really do think so um then all the other big nights person for me and i danced my face off i wasn't there for that long because again i had work in the morning so i couldn't stay that long so i stayed to about half four and obviously for me it's easy i could just cycle over there it takes like 10 minutes so that's pretty decent and i had a barn storm of a night i think my night was maybe a bit affected in terms of my vibe and how maybe stoic and still i was if anybody might have saw me i was kind of just minding our business just walking around st standing in corners and shit maybe because i was you know trying out this new thing where i don't drink when i go out and stuff which is very difficult to kind of get into the mood of dancing when you kind of come out late because i left my house about half one you're not drinking people are already up and high and drunk by the time you get there and then you're trying to catch up and then you're like Ugh. do you know what i mean it's not the best um, way to do it but I do like it because in terms of myself you know being a DJ and being somebody that's a, also a music fan and fanatic I actually do enjoy going to nightclubs and actually enjoying the music and not just going there to get drunk or high you know what I mean that's definitely one of my main prerogatives so um, it's good to kind of have that you know drunkness kind of taken out of it by not drinking alcohol and just going there sober having some water in it and they're really cool with giving you glasses of water with ice in there as well which is really nice because you know it really gets hot in there but the sound system was absolutely amazing that day i'm not sure if they you know particularly tuned it because to do favors for people who are playing with their friends but and their colleagues but god damn the sounding fold is so good they might have to do the shape and the size of the club how it's kind of like a extended rectangle kind of shape but god damn it man it's really good really fucking good sound um absolutely barnstorm i think by the time i got there i saw the end of james newmarch set and then annabella um annabella aurora playing and she was banging like this girl whoever she is i'm not really too familiar with her but she's definitely a resident um, at fold was really really good um so good that i'm actually going to play a little audio clip that i recorded there because of course you know i take pictures over there and they're doing really well because i feel as if the last few months i've been there because prior when i used to go um they used to give you a little sheet and they used to tell you to take the stickers off of the little sheet like little circle things and they put it on there this time and the last few times i've gone there now um before that sheet of paper will be given to you in the queue as you go past the, the gates now when you go there they put the sticker on at the gate like how they do in berlin do you know what i mean they give it to you at the gate they don't let you go through um into the club kind of deep in they kind of give it to you right there and the security guard puts it on like the, this time around when i was there he actually placed it on the back of the phone so that was pretty cool to see so they're clearly taking the whole no photos thing really seriously and again i keep saying all the time it does make a difference i know it's wanky i know it's a little bit you know cringe and it's a little bit you know trying to beg it with the berlin thing but let's be real it does make a difference you can't deny that places like fold and other clubs or other club nights around london who kind of go out their way to make sure people don't take pictures you can't deny that the vibe on the dance floor isn't better i'm sure a lot of it has to do with the you know loads of queer lgbtq plus folk people that go to these kind of parties and they make it fun because they dance they get dressed up and shit yeah cool but in general i think the reason why these parties are so much fun is because people can take their the phone cover it and if you go into even to smoking there you go into smoking there you just see mad people just talking it's actually one of the most um it might be one of the more um socially uncomfortable 
smoking areas to go to especially if myself being a solo raver and being somebody that's not really going there to get drunk and stuff it might be one of the most uh, awkward places to go to uncomfortable because everyone's talking everyone's in like little groups talking to each other and you feel like everyone's friends but they probably would bumped into each other right there but it's clear as day that the phone thing works because you don't see that many people on their phone yeah might be some people there taking phone calls and stuff but you don't see people just like sit on their phone like zombies and shit so that strategy definitely has worked and definitely is a good thing that they've done um at that club but anyway i recorded the quick quick little audio clip this is i'm i'm pretty sure this is a clip taken from the star of um annabelle Royer's set over there at resistance and um yeah gonna play it for you so you can get an idea of what the night's about like i said please support resistance if you can or go to nights like you know unfold that they put on there at fold i really do think there are better examples of what they do there in that club and i really do think that those nights is general especially how they're building up those djs are good play good way to kind of support people when they're coming up as well because you never know these kids end up being the next superstars yeah you know i mean to take over and shit but yeah this is a little clip um from resistance the other day at fold and i think this i'm pretty sure this is annabelle arroyo playing i'm pretty sure resistance o2 at fold definitely recommend you check it out and a little notice i just remembered as well what i remembered also that was really kind of um obvious at that time when i was there was that there was definitely you could tell that it was a residence only night because i feel like whenever you go residence only night the DJs look like they're legitimately having fun they're legitimately chuffed to be playing they're legitimately like wanting to show off their skills quote unquote and you saw a lot of that a lot of kind of long mixed blends a lot of chopping just a lot of really cool styles expressions and shit and just people really performing at the at their kind of highest level that they can possibly perform because they went to show off in front of their friends and just displayed their skills in general i really did think that was a big difference again someone that's gone there quite often i think that really did make a big um difference to my um f the, the amount of fun that i had there and again like i said that annabella Rio girl is absolutely insane like really really good i was really taken aback by how good um she was um just you know and i'm pretty sure she was those parts of it where she was playing vinyl as well just like insane insane levels of mixing insane levels of track selection um really was a musical journey and i really did enjoy it and again i only saw the end of james new marsh and again the end of um, the whole set of annabelle Rio, but i missed um gareth wilde when he played i think he came on towards the end i'm pretty sure i saw him come later on at the end of the night but yeah all in all really enjoyable really really liked it as per usual excellently organized and all that can't really put, complain about anything they do over there they run a really good great ship and yeah all things man all things are good over there 